in pursuit of happiness, we have ripped the planet apart, but still we are not any happier than what people were a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. It's time to stop and look because all human experience happens within us, not outside of us. Though both joy and misery can happen only within us in pursuit of human happiness, how much damage we've caused on this planet. This time, when this virus has made us come to a standstill, it is time to reconsider how to pursue human happiness. Is it always in uh, everything bigger that we do, more and more and more, or to enhance human capacity to experience life? Instead of enhancing human ability to experience life, in a more profound, joyful and wonderful way, we are seeing how to fix the world so that something may come out of it. But as economies grow, as human footprint on the planet becomes larger and larger, human beings are not moving towards any higher level of happiness. Only frustrations and miseries are growing. So this is a good time to address this. If we want to address human experience, it can only be addressed from within. External arrangements are to a point of convenience and comfort. If we handle this in a conscious manner, if we create a conscious planet, then we can see that not only human populations, every other life also can not only survive but thrive on this planet, because this planet is made in such a way that we are all so interconnected. There is no way any one species can survive and thrive ignoring the others. So this is a mistake we have done, we must understand only by maintaining the complex biodiversity of this land can we thrive. <laughs>